Containers expand the use of existing compute infrastructure and offers another powerful content delivery mechanism in Thin Manager. Containers can now be hosted on Thin Clients using the previously untapped available resources to run the web-based session to be hosted from the designated Thin Client. Firefox or Chrome containerized browsers can be launched by Thin Manager containers. It is recommended that a terminal have at least four gigs of RAM to host containers, but more resources can increase speed and performance. Container applications can also launch the Firefox or Chrome browser with the capability to use ICA files. These make them compatible with Citrix storefront. Let's set up a container in Thin Manager. The first thing you will want to do in Thin Manager is enable one of your Thin Client terminals to host containers. In the left side tree pane of Thin Manager, click on Terminals. Double click on your desired terminal to launch the terminal configuration wizard. Click the Next button to navigate to the Terminal Mode selection screen, and then just check the box for Enable Container Hosting, then click Finish. We will need to do a full reboot instead of just a restart of the terminal for the container module to pass in the configuration. Under the Tools menu on the top ribbon bar, you'll find Reboot. Click Reboot and click OK. Now that the terminal is rebooted, we can create our container display client. Again, on the left side tree pane, click on Display Clients. Right click on Container Host and select Add Display Client. This will open the Display Client Wizard. Start by giving a name to your display client. I'm going to name mine Web App Internal. You will also choose your container application. You can see we have a handful of container types depending on your application. For this demo, I'm going to simply choose Chrome. Using the Next button, I'm going to leave all the default selections for permissions, client options, resolution, and scaling, and move to the Select Container Host screen. Here I can choose a separate container host that I may have set up or a specific terminal designated for container hosting. For this demo, I am simply going to run my container on the thin client I assign it to, so I will check the box and click Next. The Container Properties screen allows me to assign a given amount of RAM to this container and also choose if I want to preserve browser cookies. I'm going to give one gig of RAM towards my container and I'll click the next again. The last screen is our app link to our application that will run in our container. Like with other display clients using app link, I have my path and any command line options I wish to include. I'll simply paste in my path and I'm going to add commands to put the browser in kiosk mode, hiding the top menu and URL bar. I am also adding a command to ignore SSL certification on this local path. Now I can just click Finish. I now need to assign my new container display client to the terminal that I have set up to host my container. I will select Terminals from the left tree pane and double click on my terminal to again launch the terminal configuration wizard. I'll navigate to the display client selection, remove the display client currently on the terminal, and choose my new container display client web app internal. I'll click Finish and then again do a full reboot of my terminal under Tools, Reboot, and Yes. Now that my terminal is rebooted, we can shadow the terminal. You see we have our HTML5 localized application running in a Chrome container hosted on our Thin Client. One great thing about containers in Thin Manager is that this delivery is completely managed by Thin Manager and does not use remote desktop protocols for delivery. Containers are a powerful addition to the Thin Manager platform and your configured environment. To learn more about containers with Thin Manager, visit thinmanager.com.